YouTube. Who's in the hammock? Food's about to be ready any second now. In here, like in the distance, there's summit in here. I don't know what it is bloody pheasants or grouse is a summit <laughs> going mad there. I ran up on one when I was coming in here, crapped itself. It did shot off like a bolt of lightning. Um, but this spot, I tell you what. Not a bad little spot. Um, the amount of deadwood here is unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Um, but it's uh, not the warmest of days. It's pretty pretty chilly. I'm all wrapped up because it's pretty cold. But having said that, oh, let's get in this bugger. Oh. All is well. Actually, I'm looking at this and I could just go to sleep. Gentle and rocking motion and all. Well, basically, this is us anyway. This is going to be stealth camp location. I was thinking about another place, and I'll be honest with you. There is a lot of places around here that we could use. Well, this one's just perfect, I think. Well, I will say to Nicholas, <laughs> when we come down here, in a couple of weeks, pal. Wrap up warm. Uh, it's not exactly that, that warm at the minute, to be fair. Let's have a walk. So this is the area we're in anyway. Nice and secluded. Fairly well protected from the wind and the weather. Obviously, we've got these views, just at the edge of the tree line. Obviously, there's, there's quite a bit of forest down here. And we've also got this remnants of a wall going through the place, but that'll come in handy because what we can do is we can borrow a couple of stones build a decent little fire pit and uh, they should irradiate a bit of heat for a few hours after the fire has gone out and hopefully that will keep us a bit warmer while we're down here but there you go um, so we did a we did a brief video before just to give you a view um, I've got to say, this DD hammock, I'm well impressed with it. This one here that I've got in front of me was £13, I think it was, brand new. Because um, I thought, I'm not going to buy a 50 quid DD hammock um, when I don't really know that much about them and I don't know how good it's going to be. So I got this one. Because um, I didn't really think I needed a mozzie net. Um, so there you go, £13. Um, what is it, the 
DD Scout or something. Let's have a gander. Yeah, DD Scout hammock, 2.4 meter by 1.3. Now the, obviously the other DD hammocks are 2.7 by about 1.4. Um, so they are bigger, but I'm in that comfortably. Um, so again, I don't really see the need in getting the bigger ones, but I might still get one. Um, maybe a front line or something like that. But the hammock itself, oh well, there's two quid in there. I wonder where that's come from. The hammock itself is uh, it's pretty well made. It's got like a double kind of fly sheet. So you can actually get into the hammock um, and kind of cocoon yourself in the bloody thing. Um, which is quite interesting. <laughs> um, but no, well happy with that. Obviously we're still on the Swedish cook set. I still think it is literally one of the best cook sets you can get. And bring it with me everywhere where I go. So there you go guys. Um, we've also been using that folding saw from uh, from B&Q. I'll tell you now, it's awesome. Runs through the ranch is like a hot knife through butter. Um, so there you go. Um, generally speaking. All is well. Food's just just got to the uh, the ready stage, so we'll uh, we shall crack on with that, guys. We shall leave you there. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my afternoon up here. Um, obviously, I did put in the previous video as well um, a quick bit of info in terms of the fact that obviously at the end of the month. End of this month, me and Nick are coming down here. This is where we're going to do a stealth camp. This is in our little spot. Ten minute walk from the car. Um, got everything we need. Um, so this is where we're going to be. And then we're going to shoot up to Edale the day after. And we're going to check Edale out. And then we're going to have uh, an update for you on the, uh, the Edale meet. Um, which should be good. So there you go, guys. Um, a bit chilly. <laughs> my scran's ready, so I'm going to get my scran down here. I'm going to get sat in my hammock and get comfy. Uh, so I should leave you there, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, and I shall speak to you very soon. Northwest Bushcrafter, over and out.